guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keisha, aka Queen Size Journey, and I'm here with a video that is like so. Basically, I was in the car on my way, on my way to get some food. You know, I was, I was, I was out here whipping it, trying to get some food. Actually, let me talk about my food. I actually got vegan fries. Vegan fries don't exist, but I got me a uh, Beyond Burger. It's a fries. These fries are so good. They got like cinnamon and stuff in it. It's like, like it's so amazing. But I got me some fries, some sweet potato fries from this place called American Vegan. So if you're in New York, definitely go check them out. This is not sponsored. This is just because they're black owned and I and they're a small business. And I just feel like they're so damn good. They taste so good. But let's get to the video. So basically, this is a story time. I was in the car, like I said, going on my way to get some food. And I had like, I was telling my friend a story about my worst date ever. So I'm like, why not tell youtube tell y'all this because it's just crazy it's a little crazy to me because i was appalled at the time so this is a story of one of my worst days probably my only worst day because i you can't do that with me like i'm gonna get up and leave but i ain't know this time so i was messing i was messing with this boy right and he was like i knew he wasn't like the best option but you know when somebody like now you see potential in somebody you really just want to just want them to live up to it so i was really going based off um potential with this boy and whatever um he never got me anything he was a jerk to me um like yeah let's not even like he was a jerk to me but at the time i was a little stupid i was a little like you know whatever you know it's it, that's just how people are you know just on some young young bullshit and whatever so i remember he was like oh let's go out and get ihop like let's go out and eat so i'm like oh yeah let's go out and eat you know because it was like a mutual plan and like we planned it you know what i'm saying like let's go out so it was kind of like a date because at the time we were basically talking you know for people who don't know what talking talking is basically like free dating you know what i'm saying so i'm like oh like we about to go on a little date like this is cool whatever so i was mad hype so i'm my hype ass is like oh let's go you know not thinking nothing of it not thinking that this is about to be one of the most embarrassing moments of my life i'm not of my life but of that time and i'm like all right let's go so we get to ihop and you know they they see us and you know me i already know what i want on ihop I'm definitely getting me, I'm definitely getting me a pancake combo. So, you know, the waiter comes and I'm like, I'm the first one to order because, you know, I know what I want and whatever. He stared at the menu mad long and hard, trying to decide what he want and whatever. You know, typical male stuff, right? Um, So, I'm like, let me get the cheesecake pancakes with the cheese, wait, with the eggs and how much the cheese costs. Because, you know, I have cheese because it's like an extra dollar, so I have to make sure. She was like, the cheese is like 50 cents. So I'm like, yeah, sprinkle it on there. I said, let me get, let me get the hash browns. Or let me get my bacon extra cr crispy turkey, please. And water. No juice because I have juice because I'm like $3 for no reason. Little baby ass orange juice that they be trying to serve people, right? So it gets to his turn to order. And he's sitting there staring at the menu for me alone. I'm looking at him like there's only so much on this menu like so he finally makes up his mind and he like oh let me get the breakfast sample so I'm like oh okay you going big cause y'all I live in New York so I have I have a little expensive in New York in Pennsylvania when I used to go to school I have a, a pancake combo with $10 in New York pancake combo like $14 $13 so y'all can only imagine how much a breakfast sampler costs. Probably like 16 You know? So he ordered a breakfast sampler. And he like, let me get a large. I don't think I sizes, But he's like, let me get a large apple juice or whatever, whatever. And yeah, this, that, and third. And I want this, that, and third. Like, he just ordering. Ordering. So I'm like, okay, my boy got money. Now, whenever I go out with somebody, I always carry extra cash and stuff like that because... I be scared like guys gonna be like, oh, you, 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 I'm not paying for your food. You know, this has to be embarrassed and things like that. So I'm like, oh, my boy got money. Like he about to, you know, he cash it now. I was proud of him because this is somebody who used to work like 10 hours a week. 
So I'm thinking that he had some hours. So he's lit. He out here like, oh, I finally got some hours. So I'm about to cash out, take care of myself, go out to eat, take my, take my quote unquote girl out. We about to be lit. You know, that's, that's, that's how I was feeling. Cause we were sitting there like chatting it up, waiting for the food to come. You know, we looking at each other. We talking to each other. We having conversations, you know, I'm like, how's your day? He like, good. I'm like, how was my, like, he asked me how my day. I'm like, you know, we ch I'm chilling. I'm just happy to be here with you. You know, on some real cutesy things like, it's, it's like, you know, we talking, you know what I'm saying? And the food comes, she drops the food or, you know, I'm, I'm cutting up my pancakes. You know, I have to grab the, to grab the maple sauce, pour it over the pancakes and whatever. You know, I have to get the hot sauce, put the hot sauce on the eggs. I have to, you know, I'm, I'm out here, you know, enjoying my time. Not thinking too much about nothing because like, if you're out with somebody, you're not about to be like, oh, what can go wrong? So, he eating, he enjoying it. When I say he enjoying it, I mean, he enjoying it. He's taking savory bites, all that. Just feeling, just feeling the food. You know, ever since somebody make love to food, that's him. He, it was just like, like right now. Mm, I'm so good. Like, he was making love to food, y'all. He was going in. He was going in. He was really out here basically licking the plate. Every last every last bite. I'm telling you, every last bite. He was out here. He was out here with the last drop of apple juice in the cup. Like he would not miss a drop. Like he he said, I'ma drain this off. Cool. We finished our meal. Everything is good. Everything is great. We talking again, and I'm feeling good. Like we feeling good. It's good vibrations, you know. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm feeling good. I'm full. I'm happy. You know, we feeling, we feeling good. You know, cause you know you get food in your system. You great. Whatever. We chilling. You know, we talking. The way that comes with the bill, right? Now, I hate when the way that comes. And I'm still chilling. Like I ain't actually come to build, but you know they was, they was out here. There was mad people in the back, so they had to bring people to the front, right? So, um, she brings a bill. I look at it. I had the exact cash, exact cash. I always have money with me. So I had the exact cash. Pull out my cash, and I'm like, so. I wait for him to pull out his cash and he's stuck. He's staring at me. So I'm staring at him. Then we looking at the waiter and she looking at us. So it's like we all looking at each other. And I'm like, so you about to, you about to wash dishes or you know, are you about to wash these dishes? Are you about to sweep these floors? Are you about to go ask her manager for a dishwashing job? Because you played yourself, right? Congratulations, you played yourself. Right? This boy opens up his wallet. I say, you don't have you don't have your wallet. Something he left his wallet or something. Now nah, he said, nah, I got my wallet. He pulled out his wallet. He was like, but I only got seven dollars in it. This boy, not even a five dollar bill. This boy pulled out seven dollars in singles and a couple pennies and a couple nickels. I'm staring at him like, you not even like you not that ass. Like you really did not come out your house talking about oh yeah. I want to go to school. It only has $7 on you. And, 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 and even if that was the case, like, there's times where I want to go places with my friends and I wasn't boiling like the way I'm boiling now, right? And I had, like, probably, like, like, a little cash for me and they went to a place, like, they went to go get Thai food and I just sat there with them and ordered small, like, I ordered, like, an appetizer that cost about $6 and stuff like that and a water. You know, just so I just I could be down. Like, he could have came to IHOP and just ordered himself a hash brown and quarter a day. Or a stack of pancakes. My real problem was he was looking at the menu like he had money. He could have just ordered himself some hash browns and some water. But you gonna order yourself a breakfast sampler when you only got $7 on you? Look at my shirt, guys. It says, nah, I'm good. When he was looking at me, I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good off that. I'm good off you. I'm good off you. 
Like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, balling people order what they can afford. Like, he was really, he was really ordering. Like, like how you come out with no money? No money. No money. Just $7. $7. Ordering a drink. A drink. Really. Like, all right. Food, cool. But a drink, too? And you only got seven dollars on you, no near well. Like the price is right next to it. You saw the price. He saw the price. He saw the price of them juice. It was like two ninety nine a cup. It only has seven dollars. So the waiter's still looking at me because I'm really stuck. Cause I'm like, I'm really, I'm really was like fighting an internal battle in me. Cause I really wanted to just put the money on the table and get up and leave him there looking stupid. Because. Nowhere in life that he think it was cool to come out with no cash. No cash. Even if, right? Sorry, guys. Even if we didn't talk about who was paying, who was splitting, this, that, and third, right? Always leave your house with enough cash. Always. But why did I... I this is the same. This is the same boy who begged for swipes in the train station. Why did I think that this boy would have money? I was so hyped. I was having a great date so far up till the bill came, and I'm like trying not to be embarrassed. So I said to myself, I said, "I, right, you know what? Let me just pay this bill because she's staring at me like she about to call the cops. Because I'm about to, I'm ready to do the do the dash. Because I'm like, I'm not. I don't know about what he gonna do." Like, like he's single, so if y'all wanna, maybe he could, maybe he could do something. You get what I'm suggesting? He could pay it off. I don't know, but for me, I'm good. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, literally came down. He touched my heart and he said, Keisha, don't embarrass this boy like that. Just pay. So I put the cash back into my pocket and pulled my card out and gave it to her. I'm staring at him like I'm like, boy, bro, bro, not call you bro, bro. Why didn't you come outside with just seven dollars? Oh, we was going IHOP. I didn't think that. You know, I didn't know. Like, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. I say, no. You try to finesse me. Like, you try to finesse me. You try to finesse me for free food. Like, you know what? City boys up one thousand. Like, you got it, bro. That was smart. Like, I don't ever. You know, I'm the type of girl where I don't ever do that. I don't try to finesse people for nothing. Like, nothing at all. So I was really appalled at the fact that he was just like, yeah. Like, I didn't. I didn't even know. Like. I only got seven dollars. I don't even know what to do. Like I'm so sorry. I'm like, yo, keep your apology. I'm so sorry. Like, uh, uh, uh. So, you know, you know when the bill come back, they ask you for the tips. I put zero, zero, zero dollars down because I'm not taking tip. I said, boy, put your seven dollars on the table and tip her. Put the seven dollars on the table and tip her. I took about two dollars. I took about three dollars off that tip because she wasn't the best waiter. I had to call her a couple times for some water. But I took three dollars off and I put this in my pocket. And I said, oh, that's my train ride home. Thank you. He looking at me like, but, 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 nothing. Do not leave, do not, do not leave your house. Go out with nobody's girl, nobody's friend, even if it's with you with your friends, and not have enough cash. And don't be ordering like you balling. You not LeBron. You not LeBron. You benched. You don't got no money. I thought I was mad. I didn't even talk to him. I went home after this. For real. I had to go home. I had to go home because I was tired. Because he was big ordering. Now, if he was honest in the jump and was like, oh, I didn't have no money. Or I'm like, oh, I only have this amount of cash, but I really want to go out with you. I would have been like, all right. The kindness of my heart would have been like, oh, I'll match you. I would have kindly declined. But right now, like, no, I don't think it's a good idea to go out. But he was he was all down with it. This is finesse me. And he turned out to be a moocher for real, y'all. A moocher. And that's really just the end of my story. So the moral of the story is that before you go out with anybody. Check their bank accounts and check their wallets and do not go out with people who only work 10 hours a week and got to pay rent. 
All right? Thank you for tuning in. I'm about to go finish this food. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because I have a lot more story to tell because my life is a joke. All right? I'm going to see y'all on the flip side.